Good morning students. Today we will discuss logic gates. What do you mean by logic gate? A logic gate is a basic electronic circuit. Logic gate is a basic electronic circuit. It accepts one or more input signals. One or more input signals to produce single output. To produce single output. What do you mean by logic gate? It is a basic electronic circuit. It accepts one or more input signals to produce single output. That means in digital electronics, we are giving one circuit diagram for the gates. There are three types of gates. First one is basic gates second one is universal gates and third one is derived gates gate is a basic electronic circuit it accepts one or more input signal to produce single output. To produce single output. There are three types of logic gates. One is basic gates, universal gates and derived gates. Basic gates are AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate. So we have already discussed these three operations that is AND OR NOT. The same operation here also it is going to be performed but that we are writing it the electronic circuit diagram. Electronic circuit diagram. There are three, two universal gates. One is NAND gate, another one is NOR gate. One is NAND gate, another one is NOR gate. What are the derived gates? There are two derived gates. One is XOR gate, another one is XNOR gate. There are three types of gates. One is basic gates, universal gates, derived gates, basic gates. Basic gates are AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate. Universal gates are NAND gate, NOR gate. Derived gates are X or exclusive OR gate, exclusive NOR gate. These gates will discuss individually one by one. First we will discuss first basic gates. First what is a gate? It is an electronic circuit. It is a basic electronic circuit which accepts one or more input signal to produce single output. Single output. First we will discuss basic gates. What are the basic gates? And or not. These three belongs to basic gates. We will discuss each one. First one, AND gate. What do you mean by AND gate? It is a basic gate. It is a basic gate. It accepts Two or more, please remember the word, two or more input signals. Input signals to produce single output. To produce single output signal. Single output signal. When this will be gives you a true result. First, 
instead of writing how it will get the output, first we will write the circuit diagram of this. This is your circuit diagram. It looks like D. Your capital letter D. How many it will inputs it will take? Two or more. That means a circuit takes minimum two inputs. You know that what kind of operation it is going to perform? And will perform logical multiplication among minimum two inputs. Minimum two inputs. That means your AND gate is denoted with a dot symbol. If you consider first input as A, second input as B, it performs AND operation between A and B. That is logical multiplication between A and B. So this is of two variable circuit. This is of two variable circuit. So here mentioned two or more. If you want to give more, write the circuit diagram. How many inputs you want, that many inputs you can write. A, B, C. But it produces only a single output A into B into C. A dot B dot C. So we have already discussed in the last class, how to write the truth table for two variable, two variable. So here I have taken two inputs A and B. We are applying an operation A into B, that is A dot B or A and B. So, when it is two variables, there is a general formula 2 to the power n. 2 to the power 2 gives you how many inputs? Four possible inputs. First two zeros in the A, then two ones in the A. Here, 0, 1, 0, 1. Apply the multiplication between these two variables. You will get 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 1 gives you the result as 1. Please notice the result here. When you will get the input one, output as 1, when we have both the inputs are, all possible inputs are 1, then you will get the result as 1. That means, output is 1. Output is 1. 1 means true when all the possible all the possible inputs are all the possible inputs are 1. Otherwise what you will get otherwise any one of the input is 0, you will get the result as 0. Otherwise, output is 0. 0 means false. 0 means false. Then how to write the circuit, the truth table for 3 variable circuit? So in the last class we discussed this one. When we have three variables, we are going to get how many possibilities? Three different possibilities. Eight different possibilities between three variables. First four zeros, then next four ones in the A. Two zeros, two ones, two zeros, two ones. Alternative 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is your input possibilities for three variable circuit diagram. Apply the logical and between all three variables 0, 0, 0, 0. What is the output? Output is 1 when all the possible inputs are 1. 
Is there all the possibilities are one? No. Please notice the last one. One, one, one. Yes. Only here we will get one. Rest all we will get zero. Rest all we will get zero. This is about your AND gate. What is AND gate? AND performs logical multiplication. It performs logical multiplication. And it is a basic gate. It accepts two or more input signals to produce single output. When is output is true? Output is true, that is 1, when all the possible inputs are 1. When all the possible, how many you are giving, that many, all should be 1. Then only the result is true. Otherwise, the result, that means output is 0. Output is 0. Hope you understood. How to write the circuit diagram for this? Please remember this one. This is like your D. And please don't write like this. It should be D. And please write the input in between. Okay. Yes, we move for the next one. OR gate. What is the OR gate? You know in the last class, OR gate performs logical addition. It performs logical addition. It is a basic gate. It accepts two or more input signal to produce a single output. Accepts two or more input signal to produce a single output. How to write the circuit diagram for this? Then we move for the output part. The circuit diagram for the OR gate is like this. Please write a small curve like this. Then join like this. And it should not be a more sharp. Like this. A, B, A plus B. And the gate, sorry, or gate, the symbol is plus. A, B, C. There are three inputs. How to write the circuit diagram for this? A plus B plus C. Do you remember when the result is true? Yes. In the OR gate, if all the possibilities are 0, then only the result is 0. Otherwise, the result is true. Similarly, here also. When we have all the possibilities are 0, then only the result is 0. Otherwise, the result is true. Otherwise, the result is true. Then how to write the output for this? The output is 1. When? When? One of the possibility. One of the possible inputs are 1. When one of the input possibles are 1, then the result is 2. 1. Otherwise, the result is 0. When it the result is 0? When all the possibles are 0. See, we have not written when all. It was when one of the possible input, one of the possible input is 1, then the result is true. Then the result is true. Hope you understood. Or get. Or get. Is a basic gate performs logical addition. Or gate is a basic gate performs logical addition. It accepts two or more input signals to produce a single output. When the output is one or true, output is one when one of the input possible is one. One of the input possible is one. Then the result is true. Otherwise the output is false 0. This is a circuit diagram to write this. And please don't write like this. It should not come like this. It should be a curve one. It should be a curve one. Okay. Thank you. So we will continue the discussion with the not gate. 
how to write the not gate there is a one another name for the not gate a not gate is also called as inverter gate a not gate is also called as inverter gate the next one is not gate it is also called as inverter gate it is also called as inverter gate or complement gate it complements the result it accepts only one input signal one input signal to produce complement output complement output complement means opposite output opposite output how to write the diagram circuit diagram please remember it accepts only how many input only one input only one input we are giving to the circuit what it is going to perform it complements the result so the bubble is required it's compulsory you need to write the bubble a if you give a you will get the output as a complement you get the result as a complement it takes only one there is no possibility of writing two circuit that two input circuit diagram for not gate three input circuit diagram for not gate because it accepts only one input how to write the truth table if it is a you will get the output as a complement if it is zero you will get the result as one if it is one the result as zero hence it produces which result complement output are opposite to the input it produces opposite to the input understood so once again we'll revise all the things the first one is and gate and gate the symbol of the and gate is dot the circuit diagram for the and gate it looks like you are d a b a into b or gate the symbol of the or gate is plus it accepts minimum two inputs and produces a single output performs plus operation not gate it is denoted with the over bar it complements the input signals to the opposite sign if it is a you will get a bar we we'll get a bar so and performs a logical multiplication between minimum two input signal when we have all the input possibilities are one then only the output is one when all the possibles are zero then only the result is zero here zero will get one one will get zero this much it's compulsory you need to remember for the basic